It's Wednesday, campers. Halfway there. General Motors Board of Directors gave Chief Executive Fritz Henderson a 100-day review yesterday and concluded that he hadn't done enough to fix GM's finances and culture and asked him to step down. General Growth Properties, the second largest U.S. mall owner and the biggest real estate failure in U.S. history, reached agreements with additional lenders to extend loans on its shopping centers and other properties in Alaska. Judge later this month to approve the plan that so far covers $9.7 billion of its secured debt. Cigarette maker Reynolds American says it is buying a Swedish company whose nicotine gum pouches and spray help people stop smoking. Analytics firm Comscore Incorporated said U.S. online shoppers spent 5% more this Cyber Monday than they did last year as more consumers flocked to the web for holiday shopping, but they spent slightly less per person. The Labor Department reported today that unemployment worsened or stayed the same in most metro areas in October, while a private report by ADP Employer Services showed companies cut more jobs than forecast in November. Wall Street's reaction? Here are the numbers. In a filing with U.S. Bankruptcy Court, Nokia Simmons Networks objected to Sienna winning an auction for the optical assets of Nortel Networks and said it would offer $810 million in cash for the assets. Stay tuned. And Yahoo will let users of its email, photo sharing, and other online products link their content and activities directly into Facebook, the world's number one internet social network. For the Business Press, I'm Dave Kaufman. Join us again tomorrow for another Biz Minute.